uh, review is going to be about the Grit Golf Tower. So what is the Grit Golf Tower? So the Grit Golf Tower is a new way to kind of think about your golf bag. So it has a different shape than a traditional golf bag. And at the same time, it completely changes the way we think about storing our stuff in our golf bag. So on our golf bag, most of the storage is out on the side, but with the Grit Golf Tower, it's all in the front. It gives it a very unique shape while also giving it a lot of great storage options. So do those storage options actually work? Is it efficient? Let's go find out. So as I said at the beginning of the video, the Grit Golf Tower is a little bit different than a traditional bag. So what it has is it has uh, no storage on the side. So you can see there's no side pockets. So what it's got is it's got this front pocket right here that unzips and it actually opens up and it opens up to a bunch of different shelves. So there's three shelves in there. And then right here is a nice little card strap pass through. So you put the strap right through here and this little ball pocket right here actually is magnetic and it will actually hold the bag on a little bit better, give it a little bit more uh, uh, secure feel on the cart. It's got the same amount of storage that a normal cart bag would, but it's not on the side. And so what it does is it gives it a weird shape as well. So the Grit Golf Tower has a square shape. Now, that square shape is designed to help you put it in the, in the cart a little bit better so it sits in the cart a little bit nicer. I know a problem that I always face when I am uh, putting my cart bag, my Sun Mountain bag, in a, uh, in a cart is the leg mechanism kind of gets in the way a little bit. And so with this, this just sets in very nicely. You know, like a normal cart bag would. It is designed to work in a cart because it is a cart bag after all. So, if you're worried about the shape, it is a little unique, but it does actually look kind of cool. My wife, when I pulled it out of the box, she came, she saw it, she was excited as well. Uh, she came, she looked at it, and she goes, wow, that looks weird. And, you know, I couldn't really disagree with her, but it is of an efficient shape. It does look a little different, but... If you're going to try and do something different with the storage, you got to make something that looks a little bit different as well. So who is Grit? Grit was a company that started making uh, hockey bags. So they would make bags to carry all your hockey equipment. If you've ever watched hockey or you know somebody who's played hockey, there's a bunch of different equipment that goes with it. you got to have a place for your skates, different pads, accessories, things like that. And so that's actually how they started as a company, as a golf bag company. And then just kind of scroll on their website, I learned that they do dance bags and they do baseball bags. And now they've decided to step into the golf bag game, which you can see here is the great golf tower. I think it's pretty cool. And let's get into a little bit about what makes it different, what makes it unique, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and if you should buy this bag. Decided not to do that. Grit decided to give us a pocket in the front. And that pocket on the front, there's a couple of different pockets. But the main pocket on the front I actually just unzip right here and it opens up like so. So when I open the bag up, you can see these three levels that it has in here. So we got a top level, we got a second level, and then we have a third level that's a really deep pocket, but also it's got this waterproof pouch right here in it as well. And then finally, it's got this nice little mesh pocket right here. So maybe you can put uh, something that needs to air out a little bit uh, that way it doesn't get caught in this waterproof bag uh, pocket right here. So you can see, I'm not somebody who carries a lot of stuff with me out on the course, but I got my speaker here. I got a training aid right here as well. It goes in the top area. I got my foot spray. So when I am practicing and looking at my contact points, some markers, a divot tool, a club tool, um, some stuff in there. I don't use the waterproof pocket because I don't really have anything that I can't get wet in there. And then I just zip it right up like that. That little tab got in my way there, but that tab's there for the ball uh, pocket right there. So I, um, I, like I said, I'm not somebody who has a lot of storage in his bag. So um, I didn't overflow these with too much stuff, but it is plenty of storage for anything you may want to carry with you. And the other cool f feature is if you want to bring some kind of putting mirror or something like that, you can really just open it up and kind of slide it behind it right there as well if you've got a, a taller training aid or something like that. So when I posted this on TikTok, one of the big concerns that a lot of people had was that as soon as you lay this thing down, 
that everything was going to fall out of those pockets. But those pockets are nice and deep, and that wasn't something I experienced. It travels in my car with me on its back constantly, so it is one of those things that if that were a problem, that would be something that I would notice. But like I said, those pockets are really deep in it, and since they are so deep, they do tend to hold everything in there and helps you just be a little bit more organized. Let's talk about what I like about the bag, what are some things that I'm not the biggest fan of with the bag, and then whether you should get the bag or not. So to start out, let's talk about what I like about the bag. The whole point of this bag is to change the way you organize your golf stuff in your bag. Now, I typically play a cart bag, and when I play that cart bag, typically if I'm carrying some stuff with me, I just kind of throw it in the side pockets. It's not really that organized. Things can kind of get lost down in the bottom of those pockets and uh, can be hard to find if I'm really trying to get to them. But what I noticed with the grid is I can put everything in that tower, that front facing tower, and I was easily able to access it. I was able to find everything. Those pockets in there are deep, but they're not as deep as a golf bag. The other really nice thing is on a cart, you just, if there's something in your bag that you want to get, you don't have to finagle it with your partner's bag trying to squeeze your hand in there. It's all in the front, you just unzip it. And when you unzip it, you can access everything super easily. And I think that's a huge benefit of the Grit Golf Tower. It's how easily you can grab anything out of your golf bag that you may want. Since it's not on the sides, it's not pressed up against the cart. It's not pressed up against your, uh, your playing partner's bag. It's none of that. It just sits in the cart very easily. And you can get to everything that you need in it in one easy swoop. Another thing that I really, really like about this bag is this nice little strap pass-through right here. I think it's kind of cool that the um, that it has the ball pocket up high up front. It's easy to get to. You don't have to bend down to get another golf ball, which hopefully you don't have to do that too much. But on the first tee, it is pretty nice. I also like the felt line pocket right here where I can access pretty much anything that I want. I typically keep my uh, ball marker and my divot tool in there, and then I switch it out with my keys in my, uh, in my wallet when I am uh, about to go play around, but it's really nice to have easy access to those things if I do need them. Again, they're not stuck on the side. They're not being trapped by the, uh, by the cart strap. Everything passes through here and you can easily grab anything that you need out of your bag since there's nothing on the sides. My absolute favorite thing about this bag though is the build quality. Now, sometimes when you have a, you know, a smaller brand that makes a bag, um, it can be a little bit iffy when it comes to the quality control of it. If you see something at like an academy, like one of those Z-Hot bags or something like that, like it just feels very flimsy. And let me tell you, with the Grit Golf Tower, I did not feel that at all. You can tell that this company has been around a while, has been making quality bags for a very long time. The ripstop nylon looks really nice. It feels really nice. It feels like quality. The zippers on it, they're very nice zippers. I haven't had any catching issues, anything of that sort uh, in my experience with it. I really, really like the quality of the build of this thing. The rings on it feel nice. The rings that hold your accessories, uh, those are made of metal. They feel high quality and sturdy. The uh, cooler sleeve, it's attached to a metal ring. It's just very well built and the quality for the price is very, very good. Everything on it from the strap, the strap is super padded, feels really nice, easy to pick up, metal on metal um, uh, attachment things. So it's quality, you can feel the quality in the nylon, the ripstop nylon, everything in it just seems like it's built to last. The thing I don't like about this, and it really is a personal preference thing, it's not really a uh, problem with the, with the golf tower, golf bag in and of itself, is the top. I personally like a four, five, six-way divider myself. Uh, this is a 15-way divider. So the, the top of it has 15 slots, 14 for clubs, one for a uh, alignment stick, or in my case, a scratch stick, something like that is what it is built for. So me personally, I'm not a huge fan of it, but that is my own personal preference. If you're somebody who wants a 14-way divider bag, this is gonna be a, a good choice for you. Now, one thing I do want to caution with this though is this isn't a traditional looking 14 way divider. With this kind of odd shape that it has, it is, some of these holes are diamond shaped like hexagons, they're long rectangles. I see a triangle in there. So it's a little odd 
and figuring out how you want to set the bag up, but it is pretty nice. It is nice if you are somebody who really wants that 14-way top. It is a 14-way top. It's a little unique. It's a pretty good, pretty good system if you're somebody who wants that. So my second big gripe with the uh, Grit Golf Tower is going to be the fact that it can be a little off balance. So with a stand bag right, something I'm used to, you put it down, the legs kick out, and your, your bag's pretty stable. Now, I haven't used many cart bags, admittedly. Right, so I know that this could be a problem with other cart bags. This is something I've heard people complain about with cart bags is that they may tip over on you. And uh, the great golf bag's no different. Now the unique shape is a really cool feature, but the problem is if you're playing in a high wind area like I do, right here in Dallas, we get some pretty strong winds. My first range session with the grit a couple of days after I got it, we are getting sustained 20 mile an hour winds with gusts up to 25 according to my Arcus and uh, the weather app. So we were getting some pretty strong winds of where I play, the range I go to the most is on top of a hill. So you see a lot of that rain or a lot of that wind coming through and it'll blow hard up there. And uh, yeah, the great golf tower kind of fell over a couple of times. Um, that really cool shape acts as a sail or a parachute sometimes. So the wind just comes and it hits it right here and it just puts all that force on it and it'll just knock it right over. Same with the front, right? If it if it's coming from the back where it's more lightweight, right? All the way to the front, because that's where I put my wedges. The wind comes by, hits the back of this. It works like a parachute, works like a uh, works like a sail, and it just knocks it over, which, you know, isn't the best thing, but it's also not something that is unique to grit. That's something that's gonna happen with a lot of sandbags if it's windy enough. Question here is, should you buy the grit golf tower? And for me, if you're in the market for a cart bag, if you want a 14-way divider, I think you gotta give it a look, right? I think it deserves its chance against the Sun Mountain, against the Ping cart bag, against your tailor-made cart bag, things like that. If you're somebody who wants a stand bag or you want a cart bag that has a six-way top, it may not be the right bag for you. So make sure it meets all the requirements that you have in terms of the dividers in terms of it being a card bag and not having that stand so when you go to the range it doesn't stand up by itself all the time just things you might want to be aware of but overall if we're talking build quality if we're talking about the things that it's designed to do it's designed to change the way you organize your golf bag it's designed to be a better golf bag in terms of the storage and i gotta say it does that incredibly it can't do a better job of organizing your stuff. I love the ability to have everything on the front of my cart or on the front of my bag. It's easy access as you're out on the course. It's a very high quality build product. So if you're in the market for a cart bag and you're in the market for a 14 way divider top, I think the Grit Golf, the, the grit golf Tower is the answer for you. Now, in version two, would I love to see Grit add some legs to it and make this a six-way or five-way divider top? Absolutely. If they did that, I would buy one of these, no doubt about it. Until then, if you're a cart bag person, it could be the one for you. It warrants a look from you, so give it a, give it a nice look and check it out. Order it. If you like it, excellent. Let me know what you... Well, guys, that's it for today. The weather sirens are going off. I just heard them, so I better get back inside because one, my wife's about to come get me anyways. Until next time, like and subscribe, comment below, do all the stuff that every other content creator tells you to do. And until next time, hit them straight, guys.